Yeah, I'm flying. Coming from the block. Let's check in TV. I'm just saying, bitch, I really win. Oh, fucked up when pain and pit. Go back to the base. We'll sell them nicks and then never had shit. Dying. I really came up from the bricks. Yeah, we'll eat porky beans. Selling dope. We ain't yeah. had no hope. They gave my brother yeah. fit. Alright, yo, let's check in TV. Let the people know who we here with. Hey, yo, yo, fly. They came bird. The biggest. Cap. So let the people know where you from. We're in Curl. My brother team said Curl, but we're in Pogo. Like, I don't want to feel when I was in this one. Like, Curl. Like, five years. I've been from the MLK back to the city. So can you tell us about, like, your upbringing? Like, where you went to school, all of that? Parents, all of that? Yeah, like, I'm so good, so goddamn Pogo. Like, it's crazy, but, like, now, we do 12 years of school. I really went to 12 different schools. Like, every year I went to a different school. I never did two years at most schools, I swear to God. So, like, yeah, my spoon with that, like, shit. I'm the white spoon kid. Shit. You know what that is? Like, you yeah, they call them bullshit. So, I always went to the baby kids. So, like, every school I went to, I was really good. Yeah, I think I was just finding my own lane, just do what I do. Okay. So, how long you been making music? Man, I'm Cal. 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 I found out my mom was a little fat. I'm just working with y'all. I'm gonna stuck there and all this. I got them, Bert team was stuck there and got them on make beats and shit. Mm -hmm. So I just got them going around and got them on, why you making the beat? I just get a rap and I just like, fuck it, bro. I'm just trying some different shit. So in school, we were being poor hell. So I just, when they do my work in school, I'd be really just running raps. So whatever I'm going through and what I see, what I do, you feel me? I just write it down. Shit. I just got them on practice shit every day in the room with a little laptop. That's for sure. So, uh, we know that Atlanta's like a hot music scene right now. Where do you feel like your music falls in place at? I don't know, man. My shit been going stupid. I ain't gonna count. I don't even damn about Atlanta, but you feel me? Atlanta is just, just one place we can really be in tune to. There's so many more places out looking at Atlanta. Atlanta really just Atlanta to me. Mm -hmm. I'm putting on goddamn covers, you feel me? I'm putting on for the country. The country is we have emotion, we have money, you feel me? Like, they're just going on. Like, but, other than that, <laughs> All right, so what's your creative process like when you make making music? Like, what's something you need in the studio, like, to make that hit? Oh, that's a big-ass question. What do I need to make a hit? Mm -hmm. What Biggie said? The only P.D.? <laughs> Pepsi and bitches. <laughs> Don't get the Pepsi. <laughs> nah, I really need my drawers. I need my drawers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So tell us, like, how do you define your sound? My sound? Yeah. I ain't even count. Like, I get my sound for my son. Like, I ain't even count. Like, he was one night. Like, he was just standing second avenue with his back. Like, he was like, I take him in the booth with me and hold him. He was say words. Like, cause got me on over just like shit. Whatever I say, he say, got me on catch ass sound. I did shit after him. So that's, that's a new sound. Nobody got really just put the ad around everything you say, like, yes. every word you say, you just put the ad Okay. You don't make bird talk, you just, you feel me? Yeah. You gotta listen to it, like, there's a different sound, there's a different voice, what the hell gonna come next, like, it's different, like, everything you do. Okay. So can you tell us about some of the music you put out already? I got put out a show with R5, Free Duty, no cap, you grow a little kid. I can look it up. Yeah, been doing this neighborhood shit. Yeah, I don't want to do flag on my name, but shit. We had a goddamn song called Neighborhood We Did. This shit went crazy last summer. Like, this shit got 50,000 streams on YouTube. And on SoundCloud, I got 90,000 streams. We're doing a show right now. So, can you tell us about some of the engineers or producers that you're working with? I'm on Tobin. You feel me? I ain't gonna cap. I got them down to a lot of shit. Yeah. I got them. Um, so I'ma tell him on the internet through goddamn songs, hit me up. Yeah, I, was on, I got them on five rocks I got hit two times, so I got them still going for that. But I won't stop him, so goddamn, I put it through the studio. Make a song with him. Song called Get It, and I'm dropping my tape, last statement, on the 12th, on the solo. Shit. It just been going crazy, him savage. Okay, fat ass savage, yeah, he, he my folk too. Big boy, he going crazy. For 
make it. You know, next. Okay. So tell us about any collabs that you've done or future collabs you plan on doing. I don't care about them. I don't care about them. <laughs> other niggas ain't gonna care about my, my team. I know like we just different. I know what's going on. You know, like you feel what I'm saying. I know you got to do goddamn visual there, but I don't want to be looking for it because goddamn niggas feel like we're getting stuff. Like, you stand on loyalty over here, so shit. I mean, it's all time to lick in some real niggas. You feel me? Yeah, but other uh, yeah, day, I got goddamn little toys. I got Reed. We got Global. Yeah. What the fuck was that, son? Mm -hmm. I got goddamn Coleco in another country. Mm -hmm. See, other than that, that's who I'm gonna work with, who I'm gonna okay. I can do music with. So, tell us, like, what you know you got new music dropping, but is there any future projects that you plan on dropping soon? I'm gonna drop no future. I ain't gonna care. It's happening, it's gonna happen. I know it's gonna happen. In the school of the future, I'm gonna drop take off no future next year. It's hell, man, because I'm saying this, I'm speaking to this guy, no one. No more. Other day we dropped the last statement on solo day, and my cousin got shot in the face two times in Cascade. I'm dropping tape on the day, and that we doing it for. Okay. So, growing up, like, what artists influenced your style of music? Ooh, but that's a tough ass question. I ain't cap. We were cousin. We didn't even have no music, so I wouldn't hear the nothing like when Gucci had his whole everything on his line. I didn't hear about none of the big shit like. When it took place, like, okay, he just killed somebody. Like, we didn't know about the rap, the beef or nothing, because when I moved down there on the age of me, but we knew it was to that boost song. Like, they would grew up on fine dogs and stuff, you feel me? Like, mm -hmm. that's just what we were doing in the country. We young here, all so, well, we know, you feel me? Yeah. But when I moved to the city, I ain't gonna cap. Like, ninth grade, we were going with Tower High School. Mm -hmm. cap going down. Why is with an ad? Like, this shit going down. Like, every day. <laughs> I was listening to Thug, came from nothing. Mm -hmm. I kept my partner put me on a nigga named Caddy, he was DJ, he put me on that shit. Yeah. He said, but the boy fine. I heard him, I listened to him. I'm gonna tell you what song he was. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you that like, motherfucker right now. Hey, Slime. Yeah. I can never be there. What song is it? It's called Twitter. A it's a Twitter. Mm -hmm. Damn, man. It's a. Fuck, bro, I can't remember that song, but like, that was like the first artist I heard by him, Cal, you know what I'm See, Future been out cutting so vintage, man, like, he, you feel me? We all knew he was gonna pop, like, no one like, we just all the work the club in high school and just mm -hmm. listen to him. But, like, an influence, like, I'm gonna Cal. Ain't nobody influence me, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie, my own influence, like, shit. I scrap on my own downfall, like, shit, I know I got them did, so I can't do it again, so I gotta keep going, you feel me? So, just. Looking music wise, I said, yeah. with the business, yeah. Master P, that boy, tr true with the business. Yeah, that's a fact. Like music wise, uh -huh. the creativity, you gotta have that. Yeah. The streaks wise, I gotta go Gucci. Mm -hmm. I can't count Gucci when stupid like that. Got different got nigga mode. I mean, goddamn. The lyrics wise, that's the tough one right there. We got things we're gonna again. That's a tough one. Chief Chief. <laughs> man, Chief, your ass out of here. What? What happened to Chief? He's getting out. Man, come on, man. We're going down. Yeah. Man, he's talking shit, though. Right, man. Man, he's. What real shit, though? That one. Okay, so. Like, uh, what is like your uh, inspiration that keep you pushing through this music? My family, like everybody around, okay, everybody going through something, trying to get out of it. I'll take it one person over there, though. Mm -hmm. We all can be made enough for life, and our generation will always be a part of the, you feel me, the G. Mm -hmm. If you feel me, like, you're gonna be part of it, gonna have tens and wealth forever, like, every generation gonna have it. That shit that we're already old in. You know, be famous, you just be fucking the old, fucking the people, really that, you know. Generation Wealth, I'm trying to be the old one. That's exactly what I was going to say. Cause we fucking these hoes, I'll be like, these hills, you feel me? These hoes gonna go for show. So tell us, like, where do you see yourself within a year with this music? I spent some in Florida. So I said, well, I gotta stay. I'm gonna go playing my shit. I get my speech, or the real public speech, like, shit, the rest of history. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I get far, but I know what I'm gonna do. But if I can't tell everybody what I'm gonna do, cause they gonna take my idea. 
So you just gotta be waiting. Like, you gotta be a snake. You gotta say, what am you afraid? I know when he hits you, baby. I know when he hits you. It's part of life. Like, chess. So tell us, like, well, I ask a lot of artists this. Do you feel like you'll need a gimmick one day to try to break? If your music is <laughs> not working. What the heck do you mean give me? Bro, you know how these niggas be doing some crazy ass little stupid <coughs> thing like they died on Instagram live or some shit. Or like, <coughs> I ain't gonna get out. Yeah, you know, the shit we do like, every day is like a movie. Like, we get, man, I can't, bro, you gotta just take a peek at our life. Turn the camera to the left and just, you feel <laughs> Like, it just, when we just live life, like, every moment gonna be a movie. Like, oh, I can't explain it. Like, they gonna wanna look at us every day, wonder what we're doing. That's what we're So I don't think we need to get in the car like, but we can go outside. But I don't been to the strip club and tell a goddamn Frenchy, CMG, my old dog, to the strip club me and book on Twitter. 20,000 goddamn views. They're taking a dog in the strip club in a dance. No cap. Slapping him on the ass. Dog going crazy. <laughs> We're <a> dying. Yeah. <laughs> they be having fun. Like, it's just life. Your camera on. We're going to go viral. All right. So let us know. Is there any, like, business ventures or merch that you got out? Ooh, we just oh, yeah. on oh, this. We got a full ass thing coming up, but like if I tell the world, I know you suck ass niggas gonna take out shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Suck the type of niggas you niggas up. Mm-hmm. We ain't going for you suck ass niggas. We don't like you suck ass niggas. So we're gonna keep our plans in our bag and when we drop our bag, y'all just have y'all bag. Because our bag gonna cost a bag. So I'm gonna say Jack. So I so you gotta put me on like I ask artists this too all the time, like What's your top five artists all coming up? Like your top five. And a lot of niggas be naming Pooh Shiesty and Big 30 and all that. These niggas already on, bro. I'm talking about niggas, yo niggas that you would say is the top five upcoming. And you can include yourself too. I gotta go, that's me first. Real upcoming artists, like who been dropping? Okay, me. Four R5. Who I really listen to. Uh, I don't really listen to a lot of folk my folks, so I'm trying to think who really just been dropping heat. Next up, Thuggy. Okay. Been dropping heat. I'm fucking with me a fat ass little kid. Been dropping heat. <laughs> who the fuck? The fuck one? We've been putting the work dropping. Yeah. But you can honestly say that. I'm gonna go my boy BC Chief. He just came home. He gonna drop a sick video. He works. And the woman that come with their, their team, they work on some problems. And my last, yeah, my mentor, we got them when I got them fucked up and I blew a bag. And he knew I blew a bag just living the life shit. You got them get back on your feet, like do what you gotta do. I got the word reason. I just talk about so we work. Don't fall on those words. So, is there like any last minute shout outs or where we can find your music, Instagram, Twitter, all of that? Shit, you can find me Young Flight on the show. Then Twitter, you know, I'm got that because I don't do that old tweet shit. Yeah. <laughs> you too, you can follow me like that. And Young Flight on the show. But you just catch me in the streets, you know what I'm saying? However you want to do it. No cap. Hey, we out, man.